everybody, welcome back to another studio vlog. This is going to be such a busy week of doing orders from the anniversary sale. Thank you so much if you placed an order. You are definitely going to keep me busy this week and I'm so grateful for all of the support that I received during the sale. I've been printing invoices this morning. I have a huge stack of invoices to make my way through. Um, I think there's about 250 pages here. There's not 250 orders, but that's how many pages it was. Um, and I do print the invoices so that I can check off everything as I pack it. And it really stops me making a lot of errors while I pack, especially during the sale because orders are kind of bigger and more complex. And yeah, it just sort of eliminates any errors and reduces the amount of things I have to resend later down the line. Yesterday you would have seen that I spent a lot of time cutting freebies and just sort of prepping to get packing so that I can spend the rest of the week just on orders and hopefully get them all shipped out really quick. I've prepped a lot of boxes ready to go in the A5 and A4 sizes. I don't know which ones I'm going to need but I thought I would just make them anyway and I'll use them at some point. I've got some of my freebies stacked up here. I've got some other freebies bundled up all ready to go so that will make packing quicker. And then I've got the goodie bags. So I think I'm ready to get started. The only thing I haven't managed to completely get done is cutting all of the premium mat. I ran out of premium mat paper and I ordered it yesterday. Um, and it was supposed to come today and it's been delayed so I might end up having to do that tomorrow if it comes tomorrow hopefully it does and it's not like a long delay um, but yeah I've cut most of the premium mat this is all the premium mat that I have cut um, it's mostly full kits and glitter add-ons and stuff but I've got monthly kits uh, multicolor sheets doodles to cut in premium mat so I will do those when I get my paper but for now I'm gonna crack on with these orders so I'll catch up with you when I've done some put my white foil terrazzo washi in my dispenser so that I can use it when I pack orders uh, so that's cute this one isn't available yet but I'm going to release it with the two non-foil terrazzo washies that I've got these ones so they're like a little washi trio I think that'd be really cute but I did mainly order this one just because I wanted cute packaging washi that matched my branding so I'm really happy to be using this I am mainly focusing on sticker orders at the minute and not really doing anything with the washi orders. I'm putting them to one side as I make my way through the invoices because I've ordered... Why have I put that in the oops bag? That's not oops. <laughs> this is the order and that was an oops bag. But I try and put the freebies in the order sticker bags rather than the oops because I don't want people to think that they're getting oops freebies. Um, what was I saying? I've ordered kind of like filler that goes in the boxes to stop the washi moving around um, but it's not going to come until tomorrow which was a bit annoying because Amazon said it was going to come uh, today and it didn't so I have to wait for that to come but I can do sticker orders because they obviously just go in the envelopes. That's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day just try and get through as many orders as I possibly can. I'm filming a Instagram reel but like a day in the life. Um, I've never filmed in reels before and I'm finding it a lot easier than filming within TikTok. I don't know if I'm using TikTok wrong, but yeah, it's actually quite enjoyable. But I would give that a go. If you find you get annoyed with the TikTok app, try Reels because it's a bit different and I think more user friendly. I've put a big pile of stuff on top of my planner. I'm using my Josephine Bow Designs B kit this week and it looks so pretty. 
I decided to try my B6 Lights Planner Action uh, Planner again because it's a little bit smaller and I find with the 7x9 sometimes it gets a bit overwhelming but I'm really loving how this kit has turned out with a hollow foil. So this was from Josephine Bow Designs and it is a four page kit. You get your four boxes, functional page, boxes, uh, some headers, I think I added these on, and your washi, which I've had to cut to size but that's fine. And then I also bought this kit, this was, I think I got this order a while ago now, but it's so pretty. And it reminds me of the song Moonlight by Ariana Grande, so every time I see this kit I get that song stuck in my head, which is of course not a bad thing. Before I get back to orders, I just wanted to give you an update on how I felt after my vaccine. The day after, I was really tired and sluggish, felt a little bit under the weather, not like awful, um, just didn't really, I had a very slow day. Um, it was good that I didn't have to do my orders, so I'm glad that I postponed that. My arm was really sore, I couldn't really lift it, um, couldn't sleep on it obviously. Um, and then towards the end of the day it got a bit better, I was able to cut stickers, so it wasn't that bad. And then today it feels completely normal, so yeah, very minimal side effects. I'll let you know how I feel after dose 2, but I've been told dose 1 is the worst, so I shall be fine. Good morning guys, I'm still doing orders. Um, what I'm doing now, I'm waiting for that packaging stuff from Amazon still. So I've been packing the orders um, and just not like finishing them. So this one has everything inside that it needs, but I'm not gonna like tape it or secure anything in. So when my Amazon order arrives with my like packaging filler stuff, I can just put it in all of the boxes, tape them up and they'll be ready to go. So my crinkle stuff came, I really like it, it's much better than bubble wrap. I obviously do reuse bubble wrap that I receive, but I did not have enough for all of the washi orders. So this is recyclable and biodegradable, I think. I finished taping up some of the boxes, I'm just about to do the postage now. These are all international ones, so I'm going to get these into a bag and drop them off tomorrow. Good morning guys, the plan for today is more orders, but I do have a few things I need to print and cut that I accidentally oversold or ran out of. So I need to cut a 2020 October monthly kit. I think someone bought it for this upcoming October and it's obviously the only one left in the shop because I haven't released 2021 yet. And for some reason I didn't have it, so I need to cut that. Um, I need to cut more PR freebies because we are running out. I have got a bag of mail like here, um, ready to go to the post office. That is a big batch of international and I really want to work on getting at least one bag of UK done today that I can drop off before like 4pm-ish. I am packing the orders in order but I'm having to then separate them out into letter, large letter and parcel. So I've got piles of different orders all out of order again. Uh, because obviously I have to bag them in those sizes. And I don't want to send half full mail bags, like this one here is like 10 kilograms and the max is 11 kilograms and I couldn't fit much more in it anyway due to the size of the bag. So I'm waiting until I have a more sizable stack of each type of mail and then I'll post it. So I reckon a small parcel UK might go today. I feel a bit like I'm going really slow, but the first orders in the sale are normally the biggest and the most complicated, so they do just take longer to pack or I'll end up making mistakes and then I have to then like redo the order. So I'm actually making good time. I mean, I have one to two weeks to send them. I do really hate taking longer to process orders, but it's one of, if not the biggest sale of the year. 
so it totally makes sense like this is not a normal volume of orders for me i've made myself an iced coffee and i'm gonna get started on my cutting and then orders I spoke to you guys about this or not but I ordered my premium matte paper and I normally order via email because I've had issues before where I've ordered it and they've sent me the wrong kind and this is when I did it on the website and it's because like they have temporary staff members that like pick the wrong paper so I always order it by email and when I asked to order this time he was like do you want to order on the website you can get loyalty points um, we have a new website and this is the item you need to order. So I was like, okay, um, he knows that I normally have issues. So I assumed they would like take care with my order. I don't know, maybe that was my fault. So I ordered on the website, paid for next day delivery, and it was supposed to come on Tuesday. So I checked the tracking on Tuesday because it said it was out for delivery. And all it says is delayed. So I contacted the company and I was like, can you just check on this for me? I know I could contact the courier myself, but I prefer to go through the company and I let them deal with it. So he said he would and he would get back to me and he hasn't and it still says delayed. So I don't know whether to just reorder the paper and hope that like the second shipment doesn't get delayed and I'll chase the first one when I have more time or let them chase it. It'll probably turn up, like I don't think it's lost. I think it's probably just stuck somewhere. So I don't know what to do because premium matte is more expensive and to get the price that I normally get I need to order a thousand sheets at a time but then I don't normally order two lots of a thousand sheets at a time because I don't sell that much premium matte but I have quite a lot to cut for the sale and I've cut, I've cut this much premium matte but it's all like not full complete orders so a lot of the orders that I've cut the stuff for is waiting on like add-on boxes or one other kit or something that I ran out of paper for so I I need to order it but it's really annoying and I don't want to order 500 sheets because the price break seems to be at a thousand where it gets like significantly cheaper so I think I'm just gonna have to do it but if it gets lost I've then got two lost packages I don't know what to do so I think that is what I'm gonna do and then get back to orders but it's so annoying because I've been putting the premium matte orders to one side and they, some of them only need literally like a sheet like this and I can't send them. So this is Natalie's order who is on the PR team and she ordered all of the washi tapes. I thought I would show you how I'm packaging them. So I did watch a video how to use this crinkle stuff and apparently you're supposed to put it down and then like make gaps for the items and put them in to stop them moving around. And I don't know if this is going to work as well for me because I'm like not packaging items for presentation like it's just to stop them moving um so this is what i'm doing and you're supposed to use like two fingers to open the um paper holes <laughs> this sounds a little bit questionable um because you can easily squish this and then it stops being like padded so yeah this is how i'm trying to do it obviously if there's only like two rolls i'm just shoving it around them and not really packaging like that and then if i put some on this side just to like the void between the top and the bottom of the box hopefully it won't rattle so I can't really feel much movement so I'm happy with that then I go and tape it shut so yeah I'm basically just rattling them all and checking if I think they're padded enough or not just working my way through the UK orders so these are parcels large letter large letter so I think I'm gonna get a bag of large letter out today at least I've realised in my parcel bag I actually can't fit that many because they're all really heavy and bulky so this one is definitely going to go today I'm just going to see if I've got any more I could pack that can go in it and just sort of finish filling it up it's currently 10 past one and I'm going to just carry on packing until I think two and then leave for the post office because I don't want to wait until like four when it actually closes because I'll probably then leave mine at about half three and it's literally like when the school run is and the post office is on the same street as the school so I'm going to do it two and I think that would be better for my sanity and 
parking skills. <laughs> So I'm going to do as much as I can now in 50 minutes and then we'll reconvene in a bit. Had a super chunky order. I had to get my big boxes out that I basically only use for Black Friday. So cool. I'm just waiting for it to finish manifesting um, and then I can print my labels and my manifest off. I did not get that many done. <laughs> I only got like four more done because that big order took me a while. But I've basically filled the bags anyway. So, and with the weight of that big order, it was like two kilograms. So I'm pretty much up to my weight limit anyway. Come on, click and drop. Wait, is it waiting for me? <laughs> I think it's waiting for me, guys. Oh, how embarrassing. Yeah, I didn't even manifest it. Huh. So I'm shipping 66 orders, which I think is a third. Cool, I've got my manifest ready. I have to take the order number and make little stickers um, with my like poster code or something and then my name and my order number so that it can like identify who bought the bags in basically. These are what go on my tags that I bag my mail up with and then it basically just identifies that it's mine. And I do print them on the die maker because I'm lazy. So the manifest basically just has a summary of what I'm posting in the current batch and then the accepting officer has to sort of sign and say they've had it but I can just leave mine at the post office and they deal with it for me. Okay all bagged up for batch one. I'll see you when I get back because I will not be able to film at the post office because I reckon I'll have to do two trips. These two in particular are really heavy. So yeah, see you in a bit. So I'm back and I went to the corner shop and I picked up this for myself which I've never tried before. It is the Costa Sweet Sidekick Double Espresso Shot Caramel Latte, um, which sounds really good. And then I picked this up for Tom, which we had when we went to Amsterdam one time. I had it quite a lot and I remember he really liked it, so I thought I would get that. I didn't know they had it here, so I just picked it up. Hopefully he likes it as fondly as I remember, because <laughs> it's a litre bottle if not, but I'm sure he'll like it. Fun fact about me is I don't like fizzy drinks, so I drink from my can maybe like I don't know once every four years or something um uh. wait is this gonna be fizzy surely it's not gonna be fizzy okay it's quite nice but I don't know how to open it I'm gonna need to put this in a glass it's about 9 p.m. and I'm just still packing orders, but how cute is this? It's so satisfying when it fits perfectly. So this was five washi tapes and the customer also got the trio of postcards and it fits so perfect. Looks so cute with this little pink stuff. Oh, so satisfying. Make sure all the little things are inside. Squish. Okay, I maybe put a few too many in. It's very easy to get carried away, but they actually compress pretty, pretty well. Um, and I've learned they don't do very well when they're on top of the washi for obvious reasons because the washi is like not far off the height of the box. had a big delivery of this stuff again didn't expect to get through it so quick i think today will be the last day of doing orders i've got like 80 left but they are getting quite a bit smaller i ended up reordering the premium mat so that should come today and he has reset my original order no idea what will happen with the like original shipment that got lost i'm sure i can just like return to sender or something so that should come today and then i can do my premium mat orders I ended up not doing oops bags for today's release. I'm just not going to release anything this week because I think it will be a little bit too much on top of everything else. So I just want to focus on getting these orders done and then I'll do normal new releases next week, I think. And then we need to start thinking about Christmas in July because I have an idea and I'm really excited. I've, I think it's going to be really good, but it needs like a bit of prep. So I need to start that now for the end of July. But yeah, I'm really excited about that. 
I'm gonna make myself a coffee. It's raining today, but it's still quite warm, but I think I'm gonna have a hot coffee um, and then carry on with the orders. Having a quick break from orders and I'm actually trying to research the import one-stop shop which is something to do with how VAT is collected for sales made to EU countries. It's like a change that's coming into effect from the 1st of July and basically I need to figure out how to collect that and pay it to the government. I don't, is it to my government? I don't know. I'm confused basically but um, I'm about to email my accountant and ask if I wanted to like try and figure something out myself just so that I even know what I'm gonna ask because at the minute all I've written is I have a question about the VAT <laughs> and I don't know what my question is apart from what do I do because I'm not VAT registered like with the government as it is um, but this one-stop shop thing it seems to only be for sales up to 150 euros and obviously like most of my sales are below 150 euros but what do I do if they're not? I'm confused, I don't get it. The good thing is Etsy deals with these changes so if I can't figure it out EU customers will have to shop on Etsy and like my items are exactly the same so it'd be okay until I get it sorted um, but I do really want to get it sorted because it's frustrating to like want customers to shop on your website because they get like rewards and stuff like that and then to have to say actually you have to go back to Etsy I, I don't like it so I'm really hoping it's simple I don't I don't know but basically that's what I'm doing I'm trying to figure it out um if you're a shop owner and you know what we're supposed to be doing with the VAT import one-stop shop stuff please let me know <laughs> I think it's similar to what shops were having to do for the UK um on the 1st of January um, when they made these changes and now it's all just coming into effect for the rest of Europe as well or the rest of the EU but if we were still in the EU I don't know if this would be an issue probably not but so I'm gonna try and figure something out at least email my accountant and then get back to doing the orders so I only have 20 orders left to go most of these are premium mat and then there's a few that came in sort of in the last few days I've packaged and done labels for 89 today I ended up making myself a spreadsheet for everything I needed to cut in premium mat um, so I'm going to go through now and check what I have got already made and then see what needs to be cut and then I can finish the orders. So everything in yellow I've cut and everything in red I need to cut. Um, they are meant to be yellow I think. Um, and then everything down here I just didn't get to before my paper ran out. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've just finished the final sale orders. I'm so happy. I've got a chunk of letter ones on top that need a bag. And then this small parcel bag is a little bit heavy. So I'm going to transfer them into another bag and just have two small parcel bags. I've still got some orders that came in after the sale that I'm going to do probably tomorrow. And then we might do either the post drop on Saturday or Monday. So shipping notifications will be going out super soon if you're still waiting for an order to ship. Again, thank you so much for all of the support on the anniversary sale. I really appreciate it. I can't explain how much it means to me and I'm so grateful for your support. I'm gonna do some mystery work tonight. It's quite late, it is, it is half 10, but I really need to send off a brief. So I'm gonna get that done tonight. Um, and then, I think that's it. I'm going to end the vlog because I really have nothing left to show you. It's really late. So I'm going to hopefully get this vlog edited tomorrow or Sunday, but it's Father's Day. So I am going to go and see my dad as well. So yeah, I have a lot of things to do this weekend. So the vlog will get up one way or another, but yeah, I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for your support over the sale. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this week. I basically just packed orders so there obviously wasn't much variety in the vlog But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed it anyway. I'll see you next week for another studio vlog We'll be back to normal new releases. So that will be exciting. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye